All right, y'all. I am excited. I have one of my favorite families here with me tonight. Pastor Matt Calvert, his daughters Kaylee and Hannah are here. And I'll tell you what, I'm just expecting the Lord to show up and show out. Man, I was talking to Paul Bolin earlier. He's a gospel music artist. And man, we started talking about Pentecost and the fire of Pentecost. Thanks. And man, immediately what comes to my mind is miracles. When I think about Pentecost, I think about miracles. And, you know, there's people out there in this world that need a miracle more today than they did yesterday. Amen. And, you know, I uh, was reading earlier, depression is now more on the uprise because of COVID and the quarantine. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, how are we reaching those that are in the homes? Mm. How are we reaching those? Well, God showed me today how I'm reaching those. We started Brunette TV Network this week, and we had 56 viewers already in the last two days. Amen. We've reached three countries and 25 states. And, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, thank the Lord, because Amen. you know what? That's what it's all about. And then I get messages from Southern Gospel Radio DJs. I get messages from people that are watching. One lady even got healed by watching it. And I said, you know what? That's what it's all about. When the glory of God starts shining down on people and they begin to move on what God tells them to do. Amen. That's what it's all about. And Hannah and Kaylee, our generation needs more of the fire. Right. You know, I talked to a, I call her the Christian version of Taylor Swift. Y'all have to watch that interview because she is just amazing singing wise. And I tell you, uh, I told her just what I told her today. If our youth, if this generation would get together and push Jesus Christ more than we push drugs, more than we push alcohol, more than we push parties, if we would push Jesus, we wouldn't have to worry about our generation being so bad. Amen. But I tell you what, we need more of the fire of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. So I tell you what, I'm going to let y'all sing. I'm going to get off of here and we'll come back and do some more talking. Sounds good, Sounds Andrew. Good. What key will you? Yeah. Wait, what song is it? Yeah. Jesus, we get Oh, 
What that's good stuff right there, Kaylee. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Give, <laughs> us that, give us that second verse one more time. If your back's against the wall and you feel all hope is gone, have you not ever asked yourself, is there a than that there's a line in that verse that grabbed me and about shook me in the holy ghost you I, talk about thank god you're free at last yes. you're free from your past and you're free at last my god I you know, I told somebody just today we need to stop picking up the devil's baggage and we need to start doing what God's called us to do. God didn't call us to carry depression. God didn't call us to carry anxiety. Lord. God didn't call us to carry sickness. But you know what? We we pick up those things. Sure we and, do. and I said, God doesn't dwell in pity parties. He dwells in the praises of his people. So right. you know what? When we get down and out and we just think that God ain't nowhere around us, Amen. you know He's all he's right there. It's us that's left him. That's right. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost already. Habit the praise of my people. And when we praise him, he inhabits that. He comes in and stays for a while. He visits, if you will, uh, uh and, and just kind of dwells um, uh, amongst those worshipers and praisers and 
Uh, the more we praise, the longer he dwells. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Uh, and, and boy, I can just see him uh, just walking around in the church house with the praisers or even in your house or, or right now in your studio or where, wherever you may be. Uh, the more we worship him and the louder we worship him, the stronger he becomes and the, uh, the stronger in our life, stronger he becomes in our life. And, and the the more he stays, the he'll stay a little longer. Ain't nothing like a, you know, we run into the quick trip. We run into the gas station. We gas it up, run in, get us a candy bar, run out. That's the way we are because we're so fast paced. I don't want a quick trip from the Lord. I don't want a, a quick visit. I want him to stay a while. I want him to make himself at home and just uh, abide himself a little while. Praise the Lord. Boy, I'd get you excited, Andrew. Praise God. Man, I tell you what, that song right there, that's the reason why that's my favorite song. Because it talks about you being free from your past and then you're free at last. And, you know, maybe there's somebody watching that night that needed to grasp that same concept. Amen. Maybe they're facing bondages in their life. And let me tell you something. God is the bondage breaker. Let me tell you something. When Paul and Silas were in the jail cell in the midnight hour, you know what? It was their praise that got them out of the prison. That's it right. wasn't the pity that got them out of the prison because I tell you what, they could have had some pity parties, I tell you. Yo. But you know what? They sit there and they said, I know my God's going to bring me out. I know this. Thank because you. my confidence and my faith is in God. So Thank you know what? When your confidence and your faith is in the one that, has made it all my god somebody needs to fathom that hey man that's a good word andrew you're talking about your confidence and your faith you, we put too much confidence and faith in the world way too much and i'm going to tell you right now there wouldn't be no gas shortage if you people would stop watching the news <laughs> stop facing yeah. stop hey, letting man. cnn tell you how to live your life and get in your bible i will tell you what wouldn't be all this covid 19 scary mess you know what? It's neat. It's time that the church comes back to what James talks about when the elders of the church lay hands on the sick and they begin to be healed. But now we have done God so scared that when people get sick, oh, we don't want them in our church. They might spread the germ. My God's the healer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Glory to God. There's a message that um, the young man, Jacob Holt, that plays the piano uh, for us a good bit. Uh, he's preaching Sunday for me at the church, and um, he he told me last night we were practicing around in Bible study, and he's got the messages on the healer, uh, and it, when you said that, boy, it just locked into my spirit uh, that uh, he is the healer. He's 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 more of a healer than we really understand. Uh, we 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 see the surface sickness, we don't see those things that could be but he says they're not gonna be praise the lord the things that could be he says it's not gonna be because he is the healer praise the lord listen when i had that and when i had covid and i was sick and i i had to share this uh last tuesday night andrew we were uh in bible study at school at church and um it, you know it's just about i don't know 12 or 15 of us and uh we, they were reading, and one of the little uh, ladies, she is, my God, she's filled with the Holy Ghost. And she got sick before COVID was known as COVID, uh, and they said it was the flu, and she believed she had COVID. Um, Hannah, the same way, when she was, uh, before COVID was COVID, she was sick, and we believe it was COVID now uh, that we've seen the after facts. But anyway, uh, make a long story short, I got to telling them about the night that the doctors and the nurses, the seemed like the whole floor came into my room to um, uh, let me know that they wanted to put me on the ventilator uh, so my organs could rest. I was septic. I was dying. My insides were, uh, they were stopping working. They were uh, dying, in, in other words. And uh, when they walked out, me and the Lord, Andrew, had a nose-to-nose -nose conversation with each other. Uh, I, me and him got so close that we had to be nose-to-nose -nose talking. Uh, and uh, the Holy Ghost of God just come in that room. Well, the next day I was up taking showers and sitting up in the bed. And the doctor come in and she was amazed at it. But during me telling the story uh, of all that, my phone, Andrew, started playing a song that has never been on my phone. Wow. I 
don't know who this person was singing it, but the album title was called Give Them Peace. Well, under that, you know, in iTunes, there's it scrolls across the bottom of the uh, the album uh, cover of what, whatever you want to call it. It says Psalms 41. And I thought, I said, well, everybody just turn to Psalm 41 and let's see what it says. Let, let me, let me, hold on just a minute. You done got me stirred up now. You, you, go ahead. Pentecost and you're talking about uh, uh, all, all this. And this is, this is what it, uh, what it says. And, and I'll, I'll tell you a little, little fun thing after, a funny, funny thing after the fact. But here's what uh, Psalm 41 says. Woo, gonna get me stirred up again. Good God. Now, I'm talking about being sick. I'm talking about my inside dying, and I'm talking to the Lord. Me and him talking, God, if this is the end, so be it. Glory to you, uh, Lord, but let it be easy on my family. God, don't let them be in sadness and sickness and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and here's what the Lord, I told him what the Lord was telling me. And this is what Psalm 41, this is to uh, confirm it here. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And that will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou will make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Well, now I want you to read this right here. Um, verse number eight. I'm skipping down to verse number eight. This is what really tore me up, and I'm telling the whole room got quiet. They were squalling. Nobody could do or say. It was frozen, man, in the Holy Ghost. Here's what it said. An evil disease. Say they cleaveth unto him. For now he has life, he shall rise up no more. But what's what the Lord said. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me and raise me up that I may require them. Whoo! That ain't, that ain't all of it. I know we ain't got a whole lot of uh, time on this thing, but listen, God is real, brother. He is real. The healer is real. And if we'll listen, he will speak to us. We had a literal visitation, mm -hmm. Andrew. I'm telling you, the girls was there. My wife saw it say Psalm 41, but it didn't, but it didn't say Psalm 41. It said Room 41. Yeah. When G Kaylee kept, she said, Dad, it don't say Psalm 41. I said, yes, it does. Argue with me for we 10 were, minutes. We were arguing for, uh, yeah, literally five or 10 minutes yeah. about it. And she opened it up, uh, got the thing back on. She said, Dad, it says Room 41. But the Holy Ghost, the yeah. anointing. And that's what I uh, spoke on and pre preached on Sunday morning was the anointing. Uh, the, the anointing come up on that phone and change the words. Now, if he can change the words on a phone, he can change what's inside you. Amen. He can change your direction. I'm fitting to get excited now. Amen. He can change what's going on in your life. He can change your sickness into wellness. Glory to God. He can change your mess into a message, as they say. Uh, I'm telling you, we are more than conquerors through him. Amen. God, you, Andrew, you shouldn't have ever got me started. Amen. <laughs> I am glad I am saved. I'm glad I'm filled with a People say, no, nah, wasn't you a Baptist? Hey, I ain't never been a Baptist. I ain't never been a Pentecostal. I've always been saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, I was just telling somebody that earlier. It's not about the nomination. Hey. It's because do you preach Jesus? Do you live for Jesus? You know what? It don't matter if you're Episcopal or if you're Baptist or if you're Pentecostal. Man, you can run the aisles all you want, but if you ain't got Jesus, then what you running for? Amen. Exactly. Right. And, and I mean, I remind people of the verse all the time. If you're going to run and, and y'all probably seen this on Facebook, y'all, y'all probably know what I'm talking about, but it was on a t-shirt and said the wicked run when somebody's chasing them. <laughs> you you yeah. know what? I mean, some people that ain't running in the spirit, something must be chasing them. Hey man, bro, that's good word. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now I might have to borrow that. And I, and I have to tell the girls this too. Y'all like this. I tell young people this all the time. Uh, 
a while back I was watching the news and it said there was a Chick-fil-A sauce shortage. I said, well, when I get to the heavenly supper of the lamb, there better not be no Chick-fil-A sauce shortage. <laughs> I'm sit there and eat all I want. That's right. Chick-fil-A sauce and Dr. Pepper. Glory oh, to God. That's right. Dr. Pepper's going to be flowing out of my fountain in front of my mansion. Amen. Yep. <laughs> well, we've got people watching from New Mexico tonight. Yeah, we've got some followers uh, on my live that uh, we do and uh, stuff from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, dear friend, and never have met them. But, boy, they support our family. They support our uh, ministry, and they, they're on every single night that we're on. Uh, uh, Uganda, we're in uh, over in uh, Africa. Uh, Africa. We're in mm -hmm. Australia. We're just... Uh, new the Netherlands. I had to look up where the Netherlands was. You know, uh, just all over the place, and it's amazing, Andrew, what a simple one night, uh, goofing off, if you will, uh, getting on live and singing a song or two, and just reading a little bit of scripture has turned into an every night thing, and, and thousands of people have viewed them. Uh, and, and thousands of people have shared them, uh, and it's just amazing. Uh, I was wanting to go the other day and go back from the beginning uh, up to the most recent and see how many views, um, but when I got to about the, uh, I don't know about the, I guess it was about the 20th video, maybe, 20, 25th video, uh, I was done up into 70,000 views uh, over these last 20 or, 20 or so views, and I've been doing this now almost a year. Uh, and, and it's amazing to me that now I'm not done it every single night. The revival, we, when we ran that 21-day uh, revival in Jefferson, Georgia, how uh, we were on live, but it was there live, um, how God has moved in so many areas, seeing healing, seeing restoration, mm -hmm. seeing deliverance. I mean, lit right in front of our face, seeing the miracle miracles of god mm -hmm. and he said we would see those even more today uh in, in this day than we than than he did in his when he walked the earth uh but i am just amazed of what god is doing when you're obedient to him when you just even though it may seem silly do it if god's telling you to do it because that can turn into a big ministry uh, a, a big soul winning uh, ministry at that. Uh, last I counted, we was at 11 on people being saved in our little lives. Praise God. You said, well, that ain't a lot. Listen, I know churches has been going for 20 years and ain't had 11 people saved in it. Amen. And, and, and God forbid, that, you know, that should, shouldn't be happening. But I'm just, a, I'm just amazed. I'm honored and I'm humbled and I'm privileged to do what the Lord has called us to do. Uh, been singing uh, all my life, Andrew. I guess 47 years. Been playing the piano since I was probably three, I guess, maybe four. Um, organ and piano. Uh, the girls have sang all their life. So, as soon as they could, well, I think they was, they cried, then they'd sing and then cry <laughs> some more. Amen. And and they ain't quit doing either one of them uh, every, their whole life. But it's amazing what God has done for my little family. Uh, all because of obedience, Andrew. I just want to say that. All because of obedience. I have to give a little shout out here. This has got to be my favorite comment so far tonight. Kelly Peppers just commented that they had three saved at Vacation Bible School tonight. You know what? It's this young generation that I was just talking about that we need to win to Christ. So you know what? Keep on keeping on. We Amen. need that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tracy Dorsey done got pumped up too. She said there's a healer in the house. Hallelujah. Listen, it's all these are I can't I can't read them. I'm half blind uh, on this little phone thing here, but um I'm sure I'll go afterwards and uh read 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 these comments that uh and most all of them are good friends of ours or followers of ours. So and hey, Jill has advertised for you, Andrew. <laughs> She has tagged a 900 people, I know, uh, in this to, to watch this live tonight on your program. Um, and uh, But, you know, honored is all I can say is humbled and honored. You know, Diane Jones, I hope she's on here. I haven't seen her comment yet. 
but she that's all she's talked about all day and i'll tell you what she says she loves watching you she will i will be dead asleep at 10 o'clock and <laughs> diane don't take this the wrong way but i will be asleep and the phone will ding right in my ear and i'm like what is this will you will you message me if matthew comes on i'm like yes <laughs> I go back over and go to sleep sometimes i i <laughs> I'm to sleep anyway, but you know. hey, there is Jill tagging you and waking yeah. you up in that line. <laughs> but you know what, Matthew? I thought about today. We might get y'all to come back once every other week or something, or we can work something out. And I even want to talk to you about carrying this thing on Brunette TV Network. I, I, brother, I on on Roku TV, which has over 756 million users. Wow. So, over half of them would find Brunette TV Network, I would be happy Amen. because I would be listening to the gospel. It's not about me. It's right. about what Jesus is doing through me. I was telling somebody today, you started talking about souls and you got me stirred. You <laughs> know, uh, he was talking about, you know, he said he's seen 125 kids saved in this ministry or something like that. And I said, brother, that's amazing. I said, because there's some churches in America that probably have never seen one be saved in their church. You're right. God help us. Lord help us. This filthy, watered-down, sugar-coated mess that is in the churches today, man, I wouldn't even step foot in one of them churches. It's a scary thought. Um, when we go out and sing, uh, you, you know, we, we, we don't want to turn any church down. Um, and, and we go, but uh, before we go in, uh, when we get into the parking lot or sometimes before we even, if I feel impressed before we get to the parking lot, I start praying, God, keep the anointing of safety and security over our family, uh, over our musicians. And, um, and God, I pray that the anointing will go into this place. I don't know these places. I don't know uh, the people. All I'm doing is I'm just going in to sing and to worship and to minister. And, and so I ask God to give us a, boldness when we go in here uh that would if they are dead and they are watered down christians and preaching and singing that through us together they might get fired up and start getting on the firing line brother uh keep on the firing line that old song says uh if we're in the battle we're in the battle there's no if to it we are in a battle uh, a spiritual warfare. We we fight against uh, principalities that we don't see, uh, but we know that because there's an evilness and there's a heaviness about it. And boy, I'm telling you what, we get into the place. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting. Whew, I got to calm down now. Uh, we we get into this place to where we uh, we we are seem to be fooled uh, 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 that we think everything's okay, that the world's okay. It's not. It's not okay. Uh, uh, the world is in danger I, i'm just put it that way it, it's in a, a sinful danger yes. uh, the spirit of god andrew is being depleted by the droves because of uh, the the seasoned saints of god uh whether they're holiness pentecostal baptist or what if uh, saved by the blood of the lamb here's what i want to say if they're saved by the blood of the lamb and they're witnessing to god they're dying out uh, my generation, I'm I'm baby boomer. I'm 47 years old. Uh, uh, we 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 are start. We're getting older. We got more behind us than we do in front of us. But y'all, you guys, got more in front of you than you do behind you. So uh, I want to instill a boldness and a, a, a holiness Come on. into the young generation. This generation that sings with me. Everybody that sings with me and plays for me is is anywhere from in their twenties, mid twenties, uh, uh, yeah, below thirty. Everyone on below thirty. So I'm Papa, you know, I'm Papa in this group and uh, and, and in the other groups too, pretty much. <laughs> but the thing is, I want to, I want them to see that. I guess I may be forty seven years old, but I've got an excitement and a thrill about me because it's the anointing, brother. It's the Holy Ghost. That is deep in me, but it don't take long to get out, amen, when it wants to shine, amen. But anyway, I didn't mean to take over your show. God have mercy. <laughs> um, we we just, uh, I, I get excited talking about the Lord. 
Amen. That's what it's all about. I see one of my favorite people is watching Cheryl Sumter. I'm going to get to meet her in October at Creekside. I am excited about that. Oh, uh, you ain't. She ain't. She ain't worth nothing. She, <laughs> she, now, sure. Cheryl's one of our dearest friends, mine and Jill, her and Tony. Uh, and we love them. And we, hey, when we're able, we go for, uh, to them, hear them sing. They support our group and our family. Uh, and listen, I tell you, I'm going to be on serious note here. Uh, Cheryl, close your ears if you're listening. <laughs> we, she is probably the go-to in our family for uh, when I know I need spiritual lifting up and going to her and her family and praying when something I I know something is needed really seriously then I know I can go to her because I know she can get to the throne room That's right. it's all about getting to the throne room my god I feel old ago getting to the throne room and being able to take our petition to Jesus Christ and he'll take that thing he'll take that peti petition he'll look over it and he'll tweak it up a little bit. Then he'll take it to the Father. Woo, glory to God. And boy, when, hey, what an advocate. Hey, man. Come what on. An advocate. Thank Come you. On. Just thank you, Jesus. Uh, you, I, I don't want to call him a lawyer. Lawyers, they, they, they got a bad rap down here. But but he's an advocate. When, when I can't get something done, he can't. Hey, man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mercy. I I tell you, I see Vonda Armstrong in here. Vonda, get to sharing that thing. You missed my program earlier. I <laughs> to share that thing. <laughs> Dude, man, I'll tell you what. She was at my church when I was pastoring in Winder um, with uh, her, her daughter. Um, okay. Yeah, Hope's Journey. She was with Hope's Journey. They came and sang. And then uh, Ashley and um, Josh. Josh Franks, uh, they were at my church back before before their church, People's Tabernacle, really started uh, going like it is now. He had just took the church. And, uh, man, I'm telling you what, what a, what a change we've seen and what a move of the Holy Ghost. Move of the, I'm talking a serious move of the Holy Ghost. We've seen over some people's lives uh, and, and uh, pastor friends and uh, their wives. And I'm telling you what, glory to God. Uh, pastors uh, Josh and Ashley, I love them. They need to get me on the show down here in TV 57. <laughs> Hello, you know. <laughs> Bonda says she's got her grandbabies this week, is the reason why she's been slacking. Well, <laughs> I thought I was special to you. Wait a minute now. <laughs> I see how it is. She's got her hands full, then, and she's got her grandbabies. And then she says she loves me. Well, I love you too. <laughs> but, but I tell you what, Kaylee, I talked to Zach the other day. I don't know if he told you or not, but um, I am working on getting y'all up this way. Um, oh. I'm going to find some churches to get y'all up here. because okay. I think y'all would be awesome up here. Uh, well, I, let me put it this way. Y'all are awesome anywhere you go. <laughs> it, would, it would be awesome for me to get to meet y'all. Put it that way. Go hard, Andrew. We look forward to meeting you. In yeah. Me and him had a good conversation about the. We started talking about the Lord, and I thought me and him was going to stay on the phone all day. <laughs> he probably half jumped out a window somewhere if he started talking about the Lord. Well, he he was actually sitting in the church parking lot, and he told me he had to go because he had to go teach. But <laughs> yeah, I, we're pastor. So we have Wednesday night class. Wow. That that's awesome that y'all do that too. Just showing the light of Jesus to the young generation. Just what I was talking about. So, Hannah, what you been up to? You being quiet over there? Just working all day long. Working all day long. Don't let her fool y'all. Don't <laughs> let her fool y'all. <laughs> I, I heard that man. I will tell you what, you talk about work. This morning when FedEx pulled up, I got up. It was eight thirty. I had to set up. I got a brand new studio equipment today. New computer. <laughs> new webcam everything was set up and i called my buddy chuck from down in georgia and i said set up the computer because i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> and and he went ahead and set up everything and after that it was two hours it was 10 o'clock then somebody else called me and i was on the phone for four hours so i've been on the phone all day <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i'll tell you it is a blessing matthew to have y'all here i'm i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna let y'all sing another song 
But we love you, brother, and we sure appreciate it. And uh, this, I mean, we don't take this opportunity lightly uh, to be able to go beyond our walls and beyond our reach. Uh, and, you know, our reach can go so far, but your reach can go somewhere else and maybe go farther. So it, it's an honor to team up with you and uh, just uh, do what we only know to do is just celebrate the Lord. You know, Pentecost is a celebration. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we just, what, two, week, two, two weeks ago was uh, Pentecost Sunday. Well, but why does it have to be one day? Why can't it be every day? Come on. Because I, I, I'm going to celebrate the Lord every single day. That's uh, right. You know, not just one day a week. I don't wait till Sunday to celebrate him. Uh, I, I, as I celebrate him every day, every night. And, uh, you know, when I get down is when I really can celebrate him because I know he's coming to get me. You, you know, I, I was making a joke earlier. I was talking to Giant Diane Jones and she was talking about all the aches and pains that you have. I said, man, we young people, we already feel that before we even got to your age. I wake up in the mornings and my bones be creaking and popping and all this other stuff. And I say, what in the world? We may look 25, <laughs> but we feel 80, don't we? That's right. <laughs> Lord bless their heart. <laughs> Man, Lord, help us when we get 80. I know. Listen, I have an 85-year-old church member. She is a blessing. She's a blessing. And she has to walk with the cane. And she gets so aggravated with having to walk with the cane. And she says, I got this ache and I got this ache. And so I told her last night, I said, Miss Era, I don't want to hear no more about your aching. You're more healthier than every one of us in here combined. Uh, combined. And yeah, she's laughing, you know, but um, I told her, I said, I hope I'm a half, can get around and half as good as you do. Uh, when I get 85, Lord willing me to get there. Uh, but, um, you know, with, I've been diabetic basically all my life since I was three years old, three and a half years old, and been on the insulin shots every day of my life, uh, kidney failure, blind in my eyes and stuff, and God restored everything. He's restored it all. Praise God. Uh, I, I reminded that old song, In the Valley, He Restoreth My Soul. Whoo, God Almighty. When, when, when we get down in those places, I don't know who needs to hear this, but when we get down in those places, that's when we can really, really hear the voice of God and feel the touch of God because it's a different touch. Amen. Mm. In, on the mountain, it's, a, it's one of them high five kind of touches. But in the valley, it's one of them cradle kind of touches. Glory to God. Andrew, let me sing before I get to preaching. Amen. All right. This one, yeah.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, I tell you what, y'all got more people watching than the Southern Gospel artists that I've had all week. What's up with that? Hey, hey, they know. No, I ain't even gonna say that. That that that'd be terrible. Somebody will record that part and send it out. No, listen, we we're just blessed, and uh, God has really blessed. Uh, it's just the anointing, brother. That's all I can say. Is is when you ask for the anointing, you better be ready to carry the anointing. That's exactly right. And I'm that's right now. Hallelujah. There's some young people that need to carry the torch of the anointing. Listen, I preached on Elijah and Elijah uh, passing the mantle. And, and that that's what I'm trying to do to these young folks and to you. Uh, all the young folks is pass the mantle on because the some people has hung the mantle up and, and, and the robe up. In, in a closet somewhere and has forgotten to give it to the younger generation to carry on the flame of the Holy Ghost to, to get out. I, listen, I could preach my God. Uh, just, it just, we, we're, we need to pass along the torch of the Holy Ghost uh, and then need to be strong to carry it. I mean, that song says it. Um, my faith is strong and it carries me. Amen. That is because of the, of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And Kaylee and Hannah, I'm going ahead and telling you to prepare for it now. I'm doing a segment on Young Generation, so don't be surprised if y'all get messaged to do an interview. <laughs> I've already got your name on my list here, so. Right, sounds Amen. good. I, I, there's some people that tell me, I'm too shy to do this. I said, well, if you love the Lord, you can't be shy. Amen. Amen, Amen to that. And then they finally come on there and they was like, man, you're the most laid back interviewer I've ever met. I said, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you would have listened to me from the start, you would have never had to face all that fear. But you know, <laughs> there is somebody watching that is dear to my heart. Glad to see them in here. Tori Cagle is in the room. And I'll tell you what, I she's been going through some health issues. And I'll tell you what, I am believing that the Lord tonight it's going to bring her out of this mountain that she's been facing. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> Let me tell you something, Tori. You can, Ooh, only, you can only walk through the valley so deep until you get to the mountaintop. And then that beauty of the mountaintop is what, what is what is worth right there. Ooh. And you know what? I got somebody. I'm trying to find somebody that's a painter. The other night I had a vision from God. And... I was interviewing Carol Barham. She's an artist out of Alabama. And we was talking about the blessings of God. I seen a hand, and I kid you not, reach down out of the heavens with a water pitcher, like a tea pitcher, mm. in hand, and was soaking people with living water. Hallelujah. And you talk about when it would hit them, they would immediately hit the floor. Glory to God. They would know that it was the power of God that hit them. It wasn't just some artificial thing that the world can give them. You know what? Jesus can give what the world can't. Amen. Jesus can give hope when the world is hopeless, and it is hopeless. Jesus, need, Jesus needs to move in the White House. Amen. That's right. Yes, he does. You know, I told somebody the other day, and they just started laughing at me like I was kidding or something, but I really wasn't kidding. I said, Jesus needs to move in the White House just as much as he needs to move in my house. Amen. Yes, sir. You know what? If we don't acknowledge that we're all sinners, it's just like this month being called Gay Pride Month. I'm going to tell it like it is here, and some we might lose some viewers, but that's okay with me. Come on, brother. Bless your heart. Our soldiers get one day out of the month for us to honor their lives. Mm -hmm. And they get the whole month. Yeah, I'll agree with you, brother. It's just, it's backed up. I'm telling you what, God, uh, the things that, uh, I mean, look, look, we, we, we celebrate Christmas through the month of December, but you only have one day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Uh, you, we have, uh, Easter, you know, and we all know it's not about the bunny, it's about the lamb. Amen. Come on. And you know, we 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 that resurrection Sunday, you we we get one day to really fathom uh the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
but yet so many of these secular things, or I'll just use that word, uh, are getting months, uh, a month, 30 days to celebrate and to, uh, and this stuff. We, the world is in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. I, listen, I'm, I'm, Lord has put in my spirit that we are to love. I'm not going to bash. I'm not going to beat up. I'm going to love just like Jesus loved me. And, but I do believe that we need to be more vocal about our stance as Christian men and women, saved, born again, Christian. Listen, Christians, anybody can call themselves a Christian, uh, but it, it takes a born again child of God to come on now. Uh, we were talking last night about the, this month being pride month and how they say that some say they were born this way. Well, okay. Okay. You go. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But here's the thing. The Bible says you must be born again. So you might be born that way, but the Bible said you must be born again. See, I was born in the sin. I was the my blood had sin running through it until I came to know Jesus and I accepted him as my savior, and I was washed in the blood, born again. See, I had to be born again. Uh you know, because I was a sinner. Well, all right now. If you want to call it that, you want to be born that way. All right, Come on. all right. I'll let you. I'll let you believe that. I'm just not going to fight with you. But I'll tell you this. Here's what the word says: You must be born again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I tell you what, Tracy Dorsey said, "Call sin sin." That's exactly <laughs> right. That's it right there in a the nutshell. Call yeah. sin sin. You yeah. know what? America doesn't have a balance problem. They don't have uh, ignorance problem, which is what I call them, a bunch of ignorance. But you know what? They have a sin problem. Hey, man, that's the biggest problem in the it, it, from from the time Eve ate of the tree. From that point on, the world has been plagued with sin, uh, and it's only gotten worse and worse. I was talking to somebody yesterday. Well, I don't say yesterday. In the last week or two, and they said that. Um, They've never, they believe sin is worse today than it was, say, 50 years ago. I said, no, what the problem is, is sin now is an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not hidden. There is no more hidden sin. Used to people that lived a, a, a different life, they they hid it. Uh, people that sinned and uh, maybe addicted to, we'll say cigarettes and, 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 and marijuana. They hid it. Now it's an everyday thing. It's legal everywhere. Uh, so it's an everyday thing. Uh, you, you know, things has gotten so um, common now. It's gotten so just uh, let it be. Just let it be. Let them be that way. We'll let, let's let it be. Let's just don't let's don't call it bad no more because uh, we might we might cause them to get hurt feelings and stuff like that. Listen, son. <laughs> You know how my feelings got hurt? Come With on. The belt. <laughs> With the belt and the hickory. I don't know if anybody on here knows what a hickory is, but boy, my legs knew what a hickory was. When I got out of line, that hickory got the it was called a king hickory. You know why it's called as king? Because boy, I bowed down at the king. I'm telling you what, when that thing came out, I'd I'd jump down because I didn't want my legs striped with it. But the today things are so accepted and tolerated, Andrew, uh, that um, that's why it seems like sin is worse today. No, it's just more visible today uh, than it was 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Uh, sin is sin. It is sin. And we're all going to be judged accordingly to the sin that's in our life. Uh, but thank you, Jesus, for forgiveness. Amen. Wow. We just jumped from 19 viewers, I just got to tell you, the 35. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Seems like the later I'm on, the more viewers I get on my <laughs> on my live. And then, you know, they say you start too late, but about 11, 15, 11, 20, all the viewers start coming. I reckon they're getting off of work second year. I'm going to give a special shout out. I see someone's watching. I don't know if they'll pay attention to me or not as they have not commented, but Courtney Holmes is in the room. She is married to my buddy, Billy roach and i tell you what she used to sing with the walkers i mean he used to sing with the walkers out of florida and i tell you what 
great man there. So uh, I like what Sarah Partain said here. Sin is now accepted. Yeah. It is a fact. Unfortunately. Yeah. You know what? If we would, if, well, I'll shut up. Never mind. <laughs> when I said it earlier, I'll just go ahead and say it. If the Christians would actually stand up when the issues are going on and stop shutting up, <clears throat> we would see some things come to pass. I believe it. Yes, sir. Like this abortion going on in America. Mm-hmm. Needs to come to an end the shedding of innocent blood let me tell you something if you're wise enough to have kids and get pregnant then you're wise enough to carry that baby on out through the world i agree yeah if if listen i don't know well I, i'll agree with you but some people ain't as wise as i want to give them credit to be uh but they are people out there that can't have children that would literally die for that child. And, and I don't understand. We've got a friend of ours, my wife and I, that has tried most of her adult life uh, to to have a baby and can't. And they tried to adopt. Um, and it just seems like every corner, something, you know, either the birth person gives uh changes their mind when they get, you know, agreement that they'll change their mind or, or, or just something, something. And uh, I told her, I told her not long ago that God was going to bless her and her husband with more children than she could bear, than she could stand. I was cutting up, but I was being serious too. Uh, well, she, she's, yeah, got already got two coming and pregnant with two. So, uh, be, be, be careful because uh, don't let me don't let me prophesy over you because you <laughs> might have uh, quadruplets or something but uh, you know uh, the, the seriously um god said he'd give you the desires of our heart when our desire is first him andrew and his kingdom and being in his, the center of his will god will pour out so many blessings on your life things that you've only thought of and didn't ask for he'll give you anyway because he knows your heart we got a hater i guess um somebody's asking us so what about a rape victim well i'm not i'm not gonna get in no debate but i i still believe that that child is innocent regardless Mm -hmm. the child is innocent Uh, i could not under I, i couldn't even fathom i couldn't even fathom that whole situation. Uh, But, um, you know, I I just believe if we prayed more and and seek the God's face more, um, we wouldn't have to um, see such, um, well, such questions like this and such things, you know, because um, the power of God would be so real uh, that uh, I believe we could see uh, the manifestation of the holiness of God come on. instead of the manifestation of the ugliness of, of sin and the devil. I want to make a public a- apology. I am sorry, Anthony. He he said he was not hating. He just wanted to know our opinion on it. So I, I apologize for calling you a hater. My bad. Yeah, God bless. You. Yeah. Hey man. Um, we, we just, I, I, I couldn't even fathom. My mind can't go there. Uh, but I have spoken and counseled with uh, rape victims. Um, I, I, I have even talked with uh, people that has raped people. But I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to know how to word this here without any controversy. Um, and, I, you know, I, my mind can't fathom. It just can't fathom why they would do that and and how the person that is being or has been uh what ha- their life is devastated and destroyed it seems like but i just want to say this that god loves them both loves them both and god can do a miracle in both of those lives mm-hmm. uh, and and do a miracle in that child's life i know a man and you do too uh 
what's his name? Ernie Dawson. Dawson of Airline. Just Ernie Dawson. Dawson was a rape. He's a rape child. His mother was raped, and he was the uh, um, product of a rape. And look at what he done over his life and his ministry by portraying good news of the gospel and not just hate, hate, hate. And um, I'm about to shout. He says, thank you. I do agree that child could grow up to do great things. Amen. Hey, what's his name? I'm going to have to get called. Anthony. Anthony God bless you. Young. God bless you. Um, Anthony, the reason why I said hater, let me explain myself here. Because so many times when we get deep into the truth, there's somebody that would ask a question like that. Yeah. It would come at you sideways. And Kaylee and Hannah, I know y'all can y'all can vouch for this as well. And they'll come at you sideways just to get you to debate with them so that they can try to prove that their point is right. Yeah. But seeing this tonight that we can agree on the same thing, Anthony, I appreciate you. Thank Lord. you for that. Lord. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let y'all sing another song because I tell you what, I just uh, I feel a little song coming on. Put it that way. I feel a little song coming up. What you gonna do? You pick one either. I have no idea. What? Okay, we got it. everybody gonna know that wants this song. So we're gonna do it. Um give me just a minute. Let me change the keys on this thing.
Jesus. That's my home, Andrew. Praise the Lord. Amen. I looked up and where'd your sister? There she is. I, I looked up. I was looking down at all the comments and I looked up and I was like, one of you disappeared. I don't see this one, so I figured I'd let them take the video. It. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I have had a Holy Ghost meeting with y'all tonight. Yeah. And before we go, I want all 27 of you, if you got a prayer request, let's start putting those in the comments. Amen. Those in the comments, we're going to read those things. Because I'll tell you what, I believe if we read those things, God's hearing those things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And you know, my favorite Bible verse says, decree a thing, and it yes. shall come to pass. Yes, and sir. You know, tonight is the night for your miracle. Step out on faith and receive the healing that God has put forth for you. Yes. Step sir. out and receive the deliverance that God has put out for you. Step out yes. and the anointing and the calling of God that he's put on your life. Stop listening to the devil and start listening to the Lord. He's been trying to speak to you. He's been trying to get your attention and you keep silencing him and mm. you keep silencing him. But you know what? The world is only going to be the world for a temporary time. Amen. Because you know what? This world is going to vanish away. And where are you going to be? You're going to be standing right here if you don't accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. And I'll tell you what, I'd hate to see the hell that these people are going to have to go through because they did not accept Jesus Christ into their life. It's going to be a bad, bad time. I, I just, there's no words to describe it, brother, during the tribulation time. If they're not saved, how much harder it's going to become to be saved during the tribulation time. I believe there's going to be thousands saved, thousands upon thousands saved during that time. but. Why wait? Why wait? What if it's too late? I mean, what if you, uh, what if you die in your sin uh, during the time of the tribulation? Because it's going to be terrible. Listen, Bible says he's going to come back. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and then those which remain, you, me, and everybody that's listening to this broadcast, or when, and then those that are alive and remain shall be caught up together. All right. That means that we're going to get in the air. We're going to meet somewhere up in the air together. What about the ones that aren't going? What about the planes that are going to be uh, pilotless? What about the cars that's going to be driverless? What about the uh, machines that are way, these cranes and stuff that are lifting hundreds and hundreds of tons of material up on these 10, 20, 40, 60, 100 foot floors and, uh, and stuff, floor towers and stuff. What what if you're under one of those and it pops or something during this time? You just cannot wait. You just let me talk to you. You just cannot wait. Center friend of mine, I'm telling you what, there's no better time than this very time right now is to call upon the Lord and to be saved. If the Holy Ghost is dealing with you, if the anointing is on you right now and it's just crawling up in you and you need to you need to cry out to the Lord and confess your sins and uh, ask him to come into your life and make him uh, make you a, a, a child of the most high God praise the Lord we are the children Andrew of the most high God not a high God the most high God That's right. God just gave me a prophecy and that comment popped up Sarah Partain you're talking about a blood level. I, I was fixing to say this. The Lord had just told me that somebody's blood level was going back to normality tonight. Woo, hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands right there where you are, Sarah Partain. Come on, Sarah. And by faith right now, Father, right now in Jesus' name, you said decree and declare a thing. Yes. And it shall come to pass. And we know that tonight is the night for her miracle. Ooh, 
Oh. Spoke healing into existence, Father God. There is no healing without you. And Father God, when you touch the blind, they begin to see again. When you touch the lame, they begin to get up and walk again. Yes, Father sir. God, yes, tonight, sir. this blood level is coming back to normal tonight. The devil will get no credit out of this because God's going to get all the glory tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. I bind together with it. Amen. Hallelujah. And there's somebody that needs to hear this tonight, too. Your children are coming back home. I see a mass of people running into the gates coming to the Father. Lord. Your, I, I tell you what, your kids are coming home, young, middle aged, old. They're coming home. You know what? Now is the time. Now's the time. Uh, Vicki Barrett, I need a miracle in my family, restoration of my family. Well, you know how to get restored. Hallelujah. Go to the restorer. Go to the restorer, the one who restores. You know, if you can't find restoration in the world. The world will look at you and say, uh, what you talking about? My God, I felt the Holy Ghost right there. You know Woo. what? God says restoration is yours tonight, Vicki Barrett. Walk out and claim it tonight. Hallelujah to God. Get it, Vicki. Glory to God. It's yours. Sarah Partain says, pray for my children in Jesus' name. Whatever's coming against them is no longer theirs, but yours, God. You are seeing what they're going through right now, and you're making a way where there was no way. You're making a Red Sea parting where there wasn't one. I wish somebody would shout right there. You're making a Red Sea parting where there wasn't one. Oh, glory to God. Please. Hello, Andy, we said hello and kiss that baby. I'm telling you what, we, we're fixing to go back into revival, uh, Andrew. I don't know. Uh, I, I know you know this, but we're fixing to go back into revival, and we're going to continue the 21 day and keep on. Some of them want to go 40 days. So you pray for me if we <laughs> go that if, if God allows that. But um, Sarah and and I'm telling you what their family has been through it, but God has brought them through it from end to end without interruption. That's what through means. And I preached that over and over and over again at the revival. It just continued to come up and come up and come up. Uh, from end to end without interruption is what the word through means. So when it says, uh, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, though I walk from end to end without interruption in the valley of shadow of death. See, I didn't mean to stop there. He didn't mean intend for me to stop there. I might have to walk a little through it and I might rest a little through it, but he didn't mean to take me. He didn't mean for me to take up a boat there. Amen. He meant for me to get through it and get out of it. Um, and uh, I, I'm praying for this. One. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jenny Massey says, please pray for my husband and pray for a friend of mine's baby that has been in the hospital for five months. Mm. Went on a five Oregon transfer from Winder, Winder that had to be flown to Florida. His name is Wyatt. We are believing for Wyatt in Jesus name. Margie says, pray for her kidneys that the number gets higher than 60. I've been there. I know what you're talking about. And in Jesus' name, be healed. Margie's some good fruit that she, from New Mexico. And she watches religiously our live. And I want to tell you, Margie, God, in the name of Jesus, we declare with you. We, we, we're we binding together with Andrew and you. But your faith has made you whole. Praise God. We're going to take you to the throne room. Amen. Okay. Now, this one right here is going to come with a speech. Pray for me for depression. Let me tell you something. It is your choice tonight whether you decide to live in that depression or not. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you was watching the program earlier, Charity, but just as I said, if you decide to carry the devil's baggage of depression around with you, it's your choice. Mm. God has made joy and peace for a reason. Yes. Not for you. And matter of fact, I've always heard this. I went through depression for four years of my life. But if you turn those letters around, it says, I pressed on. Glory yeah. to God. Take your depression and turn it into, I pressed on. And you know what you do press on? You press on for the higher call. Man, that could preach right there. Uh, Sarah Partain, I want you to friend me because I just believe that the next time you go to the doctor, you're going to get a healing report. I just see that coming to pass. Glory to God. Out the presence of God when we were praying for her. So praise God for that. Pray for Greg Darrell. I see that in there. Yeah. 
Uh, Kayla, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, that is uh, our drummer. It's Hannah's boyfriend. It's his cousin. Uh, he is yeah. and his uncle. Uh, it's gonna. He's on. He just got home today. Today he's gonna continue dialysis for three to four days a week. So keep praying for him. His for heart's that. not good. His kidneys are obviously gone bad. But y'all, he needs a lot of prayer. Him and his family. Hey, Let's Greg, watching. I want to stop. Greg's a good, good, dear friend of mine. I was his pastor for about uh, six, eight years, maybe. Um, and I just want to speak directly to him. Uh, it, it miss, if you're watching, go get Greg or what? If he's in the bed, I understand. Wake him up. I uh, just, just slap him and tell him Matt needs to talk to him for a minute. Um, I want, I want to say this. He and I are going through a lot of the th same issues. I, I've got kidney issues, uh, stage three kidney. Uh, disease and uh, you, you know i do and just just, just do i join the club it's just yeah yeah so so you know what we're going through um and, and just issues i've i've gained a lot of weight here in the last couple of uh, uh last week of, of fluid and i know what greg's going through but here's what i want to say god has given me a piece to say this god will and can and wants to heal your body that's right and I believe this. And I'm I'm brother, I'm seeing that hand you were talking about earlier. I'm seeing that all unseen hand reach down out of heaven and just scooping you up, Greg, and coupling you, just just holding you, um, because the healing is coming your way. You said press on. Uh, here, here's what I want to say. That old song, press on, it won't be very long, not long. Until we reach that land of song, praise God. It won't be long that, that the, I believe God's going to pour out such healing, Andrew, upon the our country and our land in these last days. I believe He said, "I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh." Okay, if He's pouring out His spirit, then He's the healer. Guess what's coming with that spirit? Come on. The healing. Come on. Hallelujah to God. My God, I'm preaching that. Lord have mercy. Nobody steal that. That's mine. Hey, Amen. Listen, if he said, I'll pour out my spirit in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All right. Then if he's the healer, then guess what's coming? The healing. That's if right. he's the restorer, guess what's coming? A restoration. Hallelujah. If Oh, my God. If he's the deliverer, then guess what's coming? Deliverance. Hey, Amen. Jesus, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. Amen. I'm telling you what. I, whoo, let me just stop. Oh, my God. Greg, I love you, my friend. I love you, my friend. It's coming. It's going. Gail, you're, you too. Amen. Praise the Lord. She said prayers for my sister who is at home from the hospital to live out her last days, however many that will be. This is so hard. Well, we all know that death is a hard thing, but when they know the Lord, we know the rejoicing that is on the other side of it. So we can no longer weep because we miss them. We can only weep because we're jealous of where they are. So you know what? You know, all these people going ahead of COVID and everything going to heaven. Man, I'm jealous of where they are. They left me here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Tracy Dorsey trying to steal my words there. I was just fixing to say that. And she says, don't claim the reports of the doctor. Claim the report of the Lord. That's one of my favorite sayings to say. And you done took it and ran off with it. I'll see how it is. <laughs> you had to watch old Tracy. she get you. Yeah, I, I, I love Tracy and Tim. Man, they blessings to our life. It was funny how we run into them, met them. She was watching our live. And, and then just then she came to church and to meet us. Uh, and then we've just we've just become friends with them and uh, love them dearly. Love them dearly. Her brother, uh, her brother, her her husband, Tim, a uh, good brother in Christ. He is uh, uh, a great preacher, man of God. And uh, I tell you, uh, Tracy, she'll she'll get to preaching if you ain't careful. She'll get all over it. Amen. Dorothy Wooten asked for prayer for her sister. They took her from doctor's office by ambulance today to NEGMC. She had a stroke today. Oh, God have mercy, Dorothy. 
Oh, but you know what, just as somebody can have a stroke and the movement in your body can stop, God can bring movement back to, to yeah. a body that ain't got no movement in it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Brother Matt, I'm going to let y'all sing one more, and then we'll end in prayer. I'll let you end us in prayer. All right. I want to do one right quick that, um, um, well, the girls don't really help me do, but I'm going to do this one. It's just simply called uh, the royal descendant. Uh, Kaylee helps, but uh, Hannah don't, but she can throw in here if you want to. Whoa, uh, tell Hannah not to go nowhere. She can't leave till we have prayer. I'm right here. Nowhere. She you. Me. <laughs> uh, here we go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God, he's just so good, ain't he, Brother Matthew? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 
I, I tell you what, we got preachers watching tonight. You know, we got people watching tonight. Man, I tell you what, it seems like the views, the later we stay on, the more we go. And you know what? The Lord dropped something in my spirit tonight. Brother Matthew, I believe me and you's going to work on getting a Facebook Live revival together. Lord to God, brother. Hey, I, listen, I told the Lord hey, if he'd open the doors to revival, I'd go to, fro, to and fro far and near. Whatever I needed to do, as long as he prepared the way, as long as he was the way, and I was just the vessel that he could use, whether it's to sing, pray, preach, or just to cry, brother. If it's just to cry those tears of, of gladness and thankfulness, brother, I'll do it. I'm not, I'm unashamed. I'm too old to be ashamed of anything. I am, I'm ashamed of my past, but I'm not ashamed of what God has done in my life and in my future. I got an even better idea. We can take it beyond Facebook Live. We'll put it on the TV. Amen, brother. Amen. I'm telling you, I've told God. Listen, that was prophesied. Woo, hallelujah. Over me during 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 some decisions to make. That God was gonna up and open such a door that I was gonna need people behind me supporting and to uh, working in the behind the scenes and, and, and on the side and with me in my ministry. And I, I you know and my mind only can, it's limited to what I can think. Our minds can't comprehend the outstanding, I, 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 there's no word, uh, the things that God has ready for us. If we'll just be willing, yield ourselves, yield ourselves. Can I tell you something, Andrew? If you yield yourself, if I yield myself, come on, there's two in agreement right there. Oh, glory to God. And the ones, my family and, and, and your family and friends and our viewers and, and stuff, if they would yield themselves and say, God, I'm yours. Do whatever you will with me to show your glory. You better be ready now because he's going to use you. But if we would just yield ourselves. I preached not long ago in a revival, a couple of months ago. And boy, it stuck with me. If you want to be filled, you must yield. Oh, come on. Anybody want to use that? That's fine. That's not mine. That's the Holy Ghost. If you want to be filled, you must yield. Everything you are, everything you have been, everything you think you're going to be, yield it. And that simply means, Lord, I back off of myself that you can use me. There's somebody tonight, the Lord just spoke to my spirit and said, death is not the final say so. Resurrection spirit is on the way. As Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, the resurrection power of God is coming through the body right now. I don't Glory know who you are, but you know what? There's a miracle in the making. And it's got your name on it, but it's got the fingerprint of God right on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, I, I could run a spell right now. Lord, I, that's I'm, four. If you could but see, you know, I'm holding my piano. I'm holding on because I'm fixing to go. If I leave, if I take off, just keep continue on. I'll tell you what, I'm having to hold on. My girls can attest to that. I'm holding on to the piano stand right now because I'm, I'm telling you, I'm about to go. Praise the Lord. You know, doctors can only define death to what they want to. Yeah. But when God says you're not going nowhere, you're not going nowhere. Hallelujah. You know what? God's about to turn somebody that was on their deathbed back around. Turn it around. Hallelujah. He, he said those those things of death, he laughs at those death sentences because he said, I'm making a miracle right here, right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, you know what? Death is not the final say so. Resurrection power is on the way. Kaylee, Hannah, I'm going to tell you this right now. I feel the Lord all up in this. The next time you two step on the platform to sing a song, you're going to be so full of the anointing of the Holy Ghost of God that you're not even going to be able to sing the song. 
Hallelujah. You're going to be able to get off that platform and go out through the sanctuary laying hands on people. Glory to God. They're going to receive their healing. They're yes. going to receive yes. their deliverance. They're going to receive the salvation and the knowledge of God. But God told me to tell y'all to get ready. There's a harvest coming. Get ready. Get ready. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Matt, I believe that God is fixing to do a mighty last day revival. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Uh, there was a tongues and interpretation message on Jimmy Swaggart just last week about how the masses were fixing to come running back to Jesus. And you know what? Today, I believe that somebody got, if you got touched today by God, let us know in the comments because I believe there was somebody. You know, just as Jesus said, I felt virtue leave me. I felt virtue leave this program. Somebody got what they needed. Glory you to know you. what? I, 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 I'm telling you, Brother Matt, we're going to work on this Facebook Live revival. Glory. I'm telling you. It, <laughs> me and you yeah. can do that. <laughs> but, but I tell you, the closeness of God. Man, I feel like y'all family already, man. Yeah, brother, you are. I ain't never even met y'all. And I was telling somebody today, I said, I'm excited. My young sisters are going to be on tonight. <laughs> I said, the last time it was me and Matt, but this time he's got his daughters on there. Yeah. I, I said, that way he's got somebody better looking on there than two men. <laughs> the Holy Ghost just left the entire show. No, I'm kidding, brother. I'm kidding. Amen. Amen. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to close in prayer. And Brother Matt, I'm going to let you do that. But, man, there were so many tonight needing prayer. There was a prayer request that I missed, and I'm going to try to go back and grab it because it seemed quite urgent. It said, please pray for my sweet friend and my son's stepmom, Josh Michelle Letson. We know God is not done with her yet. We love Michelle. Karen, this, this is some of my new members. Karen and her husband, Marshall, just joined Sunday before last. And um, thank God for them. They came into the, the 21 day revival and I was able to baptize Marshall. The Holy Ghost of God got a hold of him and he come and running to me and he said, brother, God told me to tell you that you needed to baptize me. And he was in his socks, shoes and clothes and everything. We got he got in that Baptist baptistry and son I laid him under that water and I was as soaked as he was praise God we were just so thrilled of the Holy Ghost and now he's uh, one of my he's he's one of the preachers of my church and she's they just dear people and Karen I I listen God is faithful if you don't hear anything else tonight God is faithful and he will cause the dead to get out off the bed. Come on. He'll cause the sick. He'll cause the blind to be open again. Blind eyes to be opened again. Deaf ears to be open. The stammering tongue to speak clearly. He can still do that today. It's according to our faith. He said, according to your faith, your faith has made you whole. I want to tell you what, if we'll stand in the gap for some of these folks, I know Andrew and I take, are agreeing tonight. And when I, we pray in just a moment, we're going to agree that all the prayer requests tonight is going to be answered in the name of Jesus. But I want to tell some folks this. Sometimes it's a process. God does little things to make a big thing. He might just heal a little bit here and here, a little bit there. But the thing is, he's doing the work. He's trying to build you up for you to be able to grasp on to the goodness of God. Karen, I love you, sister, and I love you and Marshall. And I listen, we're praying for the entire situation to be anointed of the Holy Ghost and a moving of a moving. I'm telling you, that just that word just keeps a moving happening a move happen listen we can have all kinds of moves we need a move with the holy ghost mm -hmm. a tremendous move with the holy ghost amen 
Well, Brother Matt, I'm going to let you close in prayer, but I tell you what, man, I don't even want to leave tonight. I know it. We've been on an hour and a half. You but, have... but hey, you know what? It's the Holy Ghost of God. Uh, you it know is. what he's got going on. And as soon as I meet you and I done, I'm going live on my Facebook. <laughs> and, and we're going to spend some time with the ones that wasn't able to get on here. Uh, but I, but the whole thing is, it's not about us. It's about him. I know Kaylee and Hannah saying they're ready to go to bed. <laughs> and when I when we hang up, I guarantee you they'll take off running upstairs. <laughs> By myself again, but that's all right. God's in the midst. Amen. Hannah already trying to disappear on me already. <laughs> yeah, she keeps on us kind of moving around, don't you? Is it the Holy Ghost moving you, or are you trying to run away? Which one? Swaying. She's swaying. She's, swaying got the, the music. she's got the Holy Ghost sway going on here. Uh, well, Brother Matt, I'm going to let you close this in prayer. Thank you all for coming on tonight. I tell you what, you all are really special to my heart. And I, I tell you, uh, Kaylee and Hannah, I'll add you all to my prayer list now that I know you all a little bit more. And Jill, wherever you are, thank you for watching. I wish you would have popped in here and said hello to everybody, but. Pop in. in just for a minute as we pray. She's embarrassed of her parents. She's all right. She's beautiful. Either way she goes. There's. Hey, Jill. How are you? <laughs> you know, you was talking about appearance, man. They look. They got all the ugly they need right here. <laughs> Listen, I, I want I, women in my life to make me look better. Amen. That's right. That's for sure. And. I, and women with a lot of hair because i don't have a whole lot <laughs> amen but, uh, wait a minute now they might have been the reason why you lost your hair with that too amen nah, amen nah. he's just getting where'd old. you go he's just old. come on we're gonna pray as a family come on we're gonna pray as a family yes yeah, oh, I, I see where hannah gets it from now trying to run out of the video i see where you get it now like him and act like him and this is the other two Hell, Kaylee, you got the boldness of your daddy. That's yes, right. I do. Yes, I do. You can be the next preacher for this generation. I don't know about that, but I, hey, you're already on the platform. Say again. You're already on the platform. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. She, she preaches here to me. That's for sure. <laughs> if you're a mama, she, yeah. she keeps us straight. Well, Brother Matt, I'm going to let you close in prayer, but thank y'all so much. Y'all are like family to me, and i tell you what, I love y'all so much. Andrew, we love you, my brother, and thank you for allowing us to come on and be on. We're, we're nothing. Uh, we are nothing, but uh, we just we want to portray him as everything, and we thank you for allowing us to come on here and, and to be seen by so many more that maybe not can hooked on with, to our life uh, and you you the same. I'm going to get you to come in on mine, and we'll just have a good time one of these days. Um, it's all about him, brother. Thank you, and I love you, and I appreciate you, brother. I tell you what, we're going to do that Facebook Live Revival. I wasn't playing around with that. Hey, I'm, I'm with you, brother. We'll talk after the after we get off of this, or, say, or maybe tomorrow. We'll, we'll talk. We'll get, it, we'll get it talked about. All right, let's pray. Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, the name above every name. God, we are so thankful, Lord, you've allowed us to be together tonight with Andrew, Lord, and so many that are watching and viewing this and, and that will view it in the days and weeks to come. God, I pray that there's something been done or said or saying, God, that will get their attention, that they need you in their life. God, I pray, God, for those that are lost, Lord, that this life our lives, Andrew's lives, Lord, that we reach the lost at any cost. Lord, I pray, God, that you would just move mightily in our broadcast, God, that we could just show forth the goodness of God. Lord, I pray again, it's not about us, God, but thank you for using us, God, to portray the good news of the gospel. Lord, I pray for every sick, everyone that's sick with cancer, God, I come to the throne room right now with the petition of healing. Glory to God. I feel somebody, Andrew, I believe right now. God is touching their life and healing, healing that cancer. I, I don't know who they are. I don't know when they'll see this. But I'm 
right now. I'm believing it right now, but I feel it in my spirit. God's hand is reaching down. Not according to our faith, but according to your faith. He has made you whole. All I pray right now, God, that sit with all kinds of uh, 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 sicknesses, all kinds of diseases, Lord, coronavirus, all these, the flu, all this stuff that's going around. God, I pray, God, protect them, Lord. Keep them safe. God, heal their bodies. But, Lord, heal their minds and heal their spirit, Lord. God, their spirit may be down. Lord, we got a pandemic of our spirit being uh, down in the dumps and and, and doubt and and discouragement and unbelief lord i pray god for those that don't believe it don't matter if they believe like me but we must believe that you are the father of all you are the savior of all and that the holy ghost will cling to each and every person if they'll only allow it to god we don't have to be of the same denomination we don't have to be of the same belief but there's one thing we must be in one mind and one accord. Believing that you're going to do a work in the sick, the healthy, the poor, the rich. Lord, the, the oppressed and depressed. God, I pray for a supernatural touch in the name of Jesus to go upon their lives. Oh, that young lady that's in the hospital right now, that, that tired of living. Boy, that, you, that was told to us last night. Tired of living. Young girl. God, I pray in Jesus' name. Oh, in the name of Jesus. God, go to her and get, encourage her. Restore unto her the joy of her salvation. I love you and I praise you and I thank you, God, for using us. God, thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I love you. I praise you. I thank you. And God, as we leave this broadcast tonight, God, I pray that it goes far and near. And it's a blessing and touch each and every person. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen and amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you so much. Appreciate you. God bless you, brother. Till next time. Girls, I expect you to be there the next time. <laughs> you got it. Yep. Well, I tell you what, thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate you. And Matt, I'll be getting with you about the, the Facebook revival. All right, get with me, brother. We'll get it on. We'll get it going. All right. Bye, y'all. Love bye. you, brother. God bless you.